Good morning. Uh, this press conference is in order to address uh, some of the details from the officer-involved shooting pursuit which occurred on Saturday morning involving the Oklahoma Highway Patrol and uh, Oklahoma City Police Department. Um, basically the information is as it stands. Uh, at about 6.45 a.m. Uh, Oklahoma Highway Patrol tried to pull a vehicle over at I-240 and Air Depot. Now it's still uh, being reviewed whether uh, the vehicle actually pulled over or whether he just took off, but at some point uh, the vehicle um, tried to elude the, the, the trooper. The uh, trooper was by himself, therefore uh, they called for assistance of the Oklahoma City Police Department. Officer Jared Jackson, uh, of two years on the department, uh, assisted the trooper who was trying to catch up to the vehicle at Southeast 44th and Eastern. Um, this vehicle continued to attempt to elude uh, both law enforcement officers, at one point reaching the speeds of approximately 100 miles an hour, uh, driving very erratically and dangerously. Uh, at some point during the pursuit, uh, the, the a trooper uh, who was involved, who's been identified as Mike Moeller, a 20-year veteran of the Highway Patrol, uh, tried to uh, tactically um, uh, take the vehicle out. It's a maneuver called a TVI, and um, that was unsuccessful. Uh, the vehicle continued on to the area of Southeast 32nd and Kelly. That's when uh, the, the suspect vehicle tried to negotiate a turn, couldn't make it, uh, ran basically into the front yard of a home um, at that intersection. Uh, the, the trooper exited his vehicle to try to apprehend the suspect, approached the driver's side um, door of the vehicle. Um, Officer Jackson approached the rear of the vehicle. That's when the suspect, who has been identified as uh, George Lee Seaton, uh, put the vehicle in reverse, and it was a stolen truck, uh, went in the direction of the officers, both uh, the trooper and the officer discharged their weapons, striking the suspect. Uh, they did attempt to revive the suspect at the scene, but he was pronounced deceased at the scene. So um, obviously at this point, um, it's an open investigation. The Oklahoma City Police Department is going to take the lead on this with the assistance of the Highway Patrol. Um, both officers have been placed on routine administrative leave, which is very typical of instances such as this. And um, again, it turns out that the um, suspect vehicle uh, was stolen. Um, uh, I need to get the details as far as where it was stolen from, but it, it was reported as stolen. And um, that vehicle finally came to a rest, to a rest uh, after the officers discharged their weapons and the vehicle struck Officer Jarrett's car. Uh, any questions? Was there any um, body cam footage that is available in regards to this officer involved? There is body cam footage um, that will be made available to the media. Uh, it won't happen today. It will happen, it, it'll happen once uh, we uh, proceed a little bit further into the investigation and, and get a chance to speak to everybody involved. Um, I believe that there is also dash cam video uh, from the uh, trooper's vehicle, and we're going to uh, obtain that at some point. Any questions? <coughs> Are the other police officers doing fine? Are they were they injured at all? Nobody was injured um, in in the pursuit. Thankfully, um, the uh, troop the uh, trooper was closest to the to the vehicle at, as it proceeded to go backwards. Um, even though it came directly at, at the direction of um, Officer Jackson's car, but uh, nobody was hurt. You had mentioned this was a stolen vehicle. Do we know anything on the background of the man who was shot and killed? No, I have not looked that up yet. Um, again, the uh, person involved was identified as uh, George Lee Seaton, uh, white male, 310 of 78. And uh, I've yet to look up his criminal history. We can do that for you. Were there weapons or anything, in, anything else in the vehicle? I don't have a list of the inventory in, in the truck. Maybe um, <coughs> the, <coughs> the patrol officer here to, to talk with us about. Uh, from their point of view, and um, <clears throat> what uh, what happened, and how dangerous you know this uh, guy was being, you know, running from officers, running from the troops. Well, like was just stated, uh, it's all under investigation. All these pursuits are dangerous. Uh, all of them vary. They change. They can change within a block. Um, we are always taking into consideration the the traffic, the pedestrian, the roadway, the area of the pursuit, the time of day. So they're um, just like like it was stated. It's all under investigation. Uh, one thing I, I would like to add is obviously the uh, pursuit was was dangerous. You uh, you got an individual who uh, you don't know why he's running initially, uh, traveling at high rates rate of speed. You don't know if he has weapons in the vehicle. This was very early in the morning uh, on a Saturday morning, so there was not a whole lot of traffic. 
um, on the highway or on city streets. But um, you know, we really consider this a successful you know I intervention. Um, the uh, trooper was by himself; uh, he did not have any backup. Uh, he called. Um, over the air to see if there was an Oakland City police officer nearby. And luckily we did have somebody who could go to his aid and back him up. And um, our officer backed him up in the pursuit, um, assisted in, in calling the pursuit, and, and that's mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to work. Did you understand why he was being pulled over in the first place? Was it because uh, the tag you, came across uh, his stone? Uh, no, no ma'am, a tag light was out. And um, also, there aren't always troopers. Are always, troopers sometimes are out here without a close partner. And, it's, and we work together with other departments, OCPD or, or, or sheriff's departments, or, so it's not uncommon for that to happen. I guess that's really a, you know, can, can play a key role, you know, you guys working together like this to apprehend mm -hmm. suspects. Work. We work for different departments, but we all work together. Both the officer and the trooper discharge their weapons, is that correct? That's correct, yes. All right, that's all that we have. Thank you for coming out.